Family time at the flying field. <laughs> Family time at the flying field. <laughs> Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing? You happy? Good. You want to wave at the camera? Can you want to wave? <laughs> so. Yep. Surprise visitors at the flying field. Yay. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Today we're going to try to track my disco using the Mavic Pro. It's got a little bit of overcast sky. I'm hoping the contrast for the white and the black bird to the green and the gray will be enough for the Mavic to lock on and track it. But we will see. Right now I'm currently walking a little farther than expected. I was testing out a programmed flight prior to actually tracking the Mavic Pro in the Disco just to see what the Disco is going to do. There it is. Ah, had a little bit of a rougher landing than I wanted to, but it's all in one place. We're going to go ahead and turn the power off the bird here for our long walk back to the field. But I'm going to adjust the landing point of the mission and track the disco. So let's get into it. <laughs> try to get the lock on on the ground. Okay. Now let's see if it'll lock and track it. See what kind of angles I can get without before. It, okay, now it's locked onto me. Not good. So probably have to lose the black jacket. Right, set speed priority to high. Lost the jacket. Okay, that seems to be the best. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the disco. Let's scan down here. I have now programmed my flight plan in. It's just going to be a brief flight. Basically do a rectangle around the field and then land. We're going to test Mavic Pro and its tracking capabilities. So let's go. <laughs> Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Alright, so that didn't quite work. And in fact, that was terrible. Or was it? In real time, it seemed like the tracking failed on launch. But let's take a look again. At launch, you see here that tracking is actually working, and working very well. It's only when the disco leaves the frame that tracking gets lost. This is interesting for future testing. I'm keeping close to my controls on both aircraft while flying the Mavic. I'm keeping close tabs on the Disco. So the Disco just did its orbit. Now it's continuing on the mission. And this is being flown manually. The Mavic is being flown manually while the Disco is utilizing the flight plan and pre-programmed coordinates. Definitely going to have to test out some different angles, heights, altitudes, distances from the object to try to find that sweet spot if in fact it is capable of tracking airborne objects. Contrast and differences in the background may break up the algorithm and we may have a more difficult time tracking the object in flight using DJI's stock 
tracking algorithms. And the disco is aligning to make its approach. And this is where I'm going to have to focus more on the disco than the Mavic and make sure that the flight plan doesn't impact in a negative way for the, as in flying into fences and or structures and vehicles so all right uh, you can see pretty close to our actual launch so I like that and try it again I'm back away you can gain altitude switch it out of sport mode because I was flying sport mode to keep track of the disco okay I'm kind of concerned that the maybe out of range yeah, subject lost okay so I'm gonna end recording I'm gonna figure out a couple of things and then get back to it we're going to try this again, different altitude, different angle. Okay, pause that. Algorithm is having a difficult time tracking the disco. All right, let's toss it again, see how well it does. Not, <laughs> I can already tell it's not going to work. So I'm going to have to do a little more, a little more work. Maybe we can figure something out. Let's try highlighting it again. The sun's out. All right, so I did a little bit better job. Let's try it out. Did you see it that time? It is becoming clear that it is not the tracking algorithm that is failing. It appears that the gimbal speed may be the culprit of the lost tracking. Nope, lost it again. All right. Diving. Flaring. Coming across the field. And we're down. Nice. Got another flight in us. Okay, yeah, it's saying that we landed. I really like what we're doing here, but I would like to get better chase footage. So we're gonna bring all the equipment out to the field again. And we're gonna try to get some better chase footage because it's apparent that we are not gonna be able to get any actual flight footage in active track. Active track is not working all that great at the moment so let's see if we can't get her back up in the air all right checking battery levels all right i'm 54 percent on the disco 87 percent on the controller it looks like let's give her a launch all right now we are tracking flying manually Tracking the disco manually. I'm in manual focus mode right now. I'm not messing with the autofocus. I'm just going to do a nice little track on our previously programmed loop. And hopefully we'll get some nice, decent footage of the disco in flight using the Mavic Pro. So the stability of the disco is quite nice. 
it's fighting the wind a little bit we're going upwind right now so the wind is at our nose now we're going to turn downwind now the wind is calm calm and variable all right we hit our track point into the sun I like that shot right there. Nice. Nice shot of the field in the background. Oh, we're flying the disco. Try not to hit the disco. So if you remember, I used to chase the disco with the Inspire 2. Still have the Inspire 2. It's just a little bigger bird than I wanted to bring out today. I wanted to test the active track on the Mavic. The active track on the Inspire handled and acted the same way kind of disappointing but I was hoping for a different result the results at the time seem negative but by reviewing this footage I can see some tweaks can be made to the gimbal speed hopefully with gimbal speed changes in addition to changing the Mavic's overall speed this will correct the loss of tracking that's fantastic weather I cannot complain one bit about the weather here it's been kind of crappy lately and it will be continued to I'll get crappy over the weekend too, so. It is Friday. It's getting set up to do a dive. Get transitioned for landing. It's gonna hit its flare. Sonic sensors are kicking in and there's a flare. There's one. Fantastic. That's awesome. Well, sorry guys, I wasn't able to get the active track to work on the Mavic. Uh, again, it's it's honestly it has nothing to do with the Mavic. It's just look how small this disco is and The speed that it takes and it would have to take to get the Mavic to track It'd be quite impressive feat so I will look into it more and see if I can't figure out a way to possibly get it to work And I'll definitely get back with you guys on that but it's going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks for checking it out. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have a possible solution to the active track situation, feel free to uh, put your inputs down below and I'll credit you guys with uh, any additional videos that I decide to make and uh, we'll go from there. So I appreciate you tuning in and we'll see you next video. Thanks for watching.